Okay, I'm going to be assembling our new Picanio 32 board. It's a knockoff of the microchip Digilent Arduino board. Um, by knockoff, I mean it's the same basic circuit, but we use our own parts and use our own part list and did some things to try to get the cost down. Uh, we have to compete with them after all, and it's only 26 bucks there. So I'm going to solder this, and uh, I think we're going to have to do a few different things. I don't think I have any FT-232s in stock, so we'll probably have to find an old board and hot air that off and put it on here. Um, first, we'll start with the pick chip. That's the biggest chip. So if we mess up there, we can move on to a new board without messing around with all these components. First thing is we're going to use some flux. This is a gel flux and a syringe. I'm going to wipe it around on there so that we have a, a nice layer of lubricant for the solder. Okay. Now I'm going to solder starting with one pin on one corner and then working the way around the chip. Just gobbing it on and then wicking it off with solder wick like this. Uh, for soldering equipment, I've got thin solder here and my trusty cheap soldering iron and a sponge to clean it off. Some people like the little sponge. I go for the big one. Um, now, so let's start soldering. Like I was afraid of, I don't have any extra FT232 USB to serial converter chips, uh, but I don't want that to stall the project because we're on a roll. So I pulled out this old Bus Pirate version 3B prototype and it's got the same chip right there. I'm going to pop it off with some hot air and put it down on here.
And so that's the finished board. It's not perfect, but it's enough to get us through the power-up test to see if it, anything blows up. And uh, we can burn in some firmware and see if it works. And now it's time for the first USB test, and we'll actually plug it in and see if it enumerates. Perfect. Now it's time to program a firmware into it and see if it works with the chipkit software.